I mean, I guess I could start early a little bit here for you guys. Um, I'm going to dig through the stack and redo things because right now we've got a bunch of wood we don't have to finish on top. <laughs> oh, my crazy, crazy. Oh, whoa. I already got a follow? That's, that. All right, Jenkins, uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, uh, welcome in. <laughs> Sorry, just mesmerized by the name for a second. So, uh, Jenkins, um, just, uh, wait, what? I'm here on recommendation. Smiley face. Yankee underscore X said. Man, if I just went a bit longer, I could have rated you. Tongue well, I mean, out. I guess the old, uh, uh, I love this thing, but I hate this thing at the same time. Come on. Come on. Thank you. You didn't catch me. Okay. Um, well, Jake, uh, Jenkins, um, I, however you want it pronounced, uh, I guess... Kat's already asked the first question, or answered the first question for me, uh, which is, how'd you find me, and would you find uh, any anything that drew you into my stream? So. James said, "Hey, I'm James. Easier to say." James. Smiley face. All right. Yankee underscore X said, "You have a singer." Well, we're gonna fix this up for you here, James. Hey, James. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Users. Cat said, wheel. There we go. James said, I was a chippy slash dry liner for 20 years. Love a bit of woodwork. All right. Uh, heads up. In the next uh, minute or so, there's going to be, you know, the Twitch mandated ad breaks. So... I'm going to try and get it out of the way. My name's Wes. This is Plain Old Woodworking. Uh, we're typically here for... Uh, James said, hey, so right now I'm just trying to restack what we've already done. Um, primarily we do hand tool woodworking projects here. Right now I'm just restacking some woods because we're slowly surfacing wood for a cupboard build if you want to know more about it. That's not a bad idea. I probably should have done that. Yeah, one second. We're going to restack again. Uh, sorry, sometimes the starts uh, the start to these streams is very slow. Mecca, don't worry about it. We know you're playing the uh, don't get caught at work game, so don't worry too much about it there, Mecca. All right, I'm just rearranging how all of this is stacked. Because I want to get... I want to get as much of Jackson. this... Jack wanted to know if you ever made a guitar. No. Nope. I have not tried my hand in luthiering yet. I would like to try a ukulele or a guitar at some point, but right now I am zero for zero on musical instruments. One, two, and three. I am much more of a furniture person. There we go. All right, stick you under so we can do. Where is. Okay, there's the fourth board. Okay. Oh, Mecca. Okay, well, it didn't give me any kind of alert. 
Thank you, Mecca, for, the, for that donation to the... Uh, that, that's something I need to bring up pretty much right away as well. I better not tell you that I was planning to make you into a pinball shanty. Into a what and now and how? All right. But now that we've got that squared away, I can get actually to where I was wanting to be. Okay. You know, beating up everything else. Okay. All right. So I guess first order of business is, um, yeah, we are... We are officially into my uh, charity stream for uh, the American Chestnut Foundation. I don't know. Maybe you can see it. There we go. The American Chestnut Foundation. Um, uh, and we're also trying to surface boards. Yeah. And we're also trying to surf, uh, surface boards for a cupboard build. Um, but I think I've yammered on. Oh, okay. That's why I like that. Okay. Let's get the knee knockers in as far as possible. That, that is fine, Mecca. You got it before I could even start making announcements. So, so that's. Uh, that's far beyond me. Okay, so. <laughs> so, the American Chestnut Foundation is is a foundation that is looking to, and sorry, I'm going to be doing a bunch of things all at once, looking to try and bring a tree back from the brink of extinction. It is actually, uh, the American chestnut is actually functionally extinct and has been since the 50s. Um, it's still around. Uh, basically what had happened is in the early 1900s, that is one big check. I'm glad these are backboards. Um, what had happened is in the early 1900s, uh, someone was able to bring in Chinese chestnuts and get them through the quarantine procedures, uh, get them, uh, get them into the United States. Uh, I think this might actually be the reason why quarantine on botanicals exists now, or they got it through without a quarantine procedure. But either way, those chestnuts brought, the Chinese chestnuts brought over chestnut blight, which girdles the trees. It's a fungus that will girdle right around the roots and just choke the tree and make it where it can't grow anymore and it'll just die. And it basically wiped out, in the process of about 50 years, wiped out the entire chestnut population, the American chestnut population, because it has no natural resistance to this blight. Um, and because it doesn't have a natural resistance to it, let me find a place for this real quick. It, it basically got wiped out. But the great thing about chestnuts is that if the roots still exist, it can continue to grow. So what has been happening is that the tree, the existing, uh, the existing tree roots that are in the ground from the old chestnuts keep shooting up trees, even though they're infected with blight. Um, and they just can't get back to the mature size to produce seed pods anymore. Um, and what, it, what has been happening is uh, the, ch the American Chestnuts Foundation has been slowly uh, through a process of like taking clippings and just finding a one or two, you know like one or two chestnuts that are actually the right size and possibly producing seeds, um, they've been harvesting and growing virgin chestnut trees. This is going to be a fast board to plane, um, and they have what it you know what is. Uh, Pure American chestnuts that they're growing and giving, you know, having the seeds go out, but they're also working on 
hybridizing the American chestnut with the group. Yeah, with the uh, hybridizing it with the Chinese chestnut, but selectively hybridizing it so that it still carries all of the physical characteristics of the American chestnut, but carries over blight resistance. They've been working on that, and that has been slowly getting planted um, here, there, and everywhere in Eastern America. I'm in Midwest, so I'm technically too far west for its natural range. Um, and they are working on a third frontier of genetically modifying it to have resistance. Good day. GTSY again. Okay, what, what was that one? Oh, good to see you. Okay. Hey, uh, yeah. Also, yeah. Rolo, good to see you again. Hadn't seen you in a while. Great to see you. And Yankee, thanks for stopping in. Um, so, a couple things here. Like, I when I wanted to start doing... Yeah. When I wanted to start doing charity streams, I... Uh, originally wanted to do like a planting tree type thing, uh, except for it's very, it, I don't mean it as a bad thing, but it's kind of hard to uh, find a tree planting organization that hasn't gotten themselves into hot water for not doing it ecologically soundly. Um, I mean, even the Arbor Day Foundation has a lot of people angry at them because all they, because it's not for profit, but for profit kind of stuff. Okay, there's a bump here. This is mostly untwisted. There's just a little bit of a bump in the middle. And of course, it's a, it's a narrow board, so it, it's gonna want to turn. We're just gonna do it this way then. <laughs> oh, that's all right, James. I know you're probably over on the other side of the pond. Um, yes. Rillo Rillo 78 says, what are you working on? Uh, I am currently working on a, I'm currently working on a uh, shaker cupboard, shaker style cupboard. Um, and right now we're just kind of prepping the boards. We're almost to the point of actually say hello, starting to do real work on them besides just prepping boards. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do just a couple rips and we're just gonna clean the face off and then I'm gonna start using the six again. Um, so, I cut, uh, Mecca actually helped me come to the conclusion of the American Chestnut Foundation, not because like I didn't know it existed. I forgot it existed. <laughs> um, but the reason I picked it, besides Mecca helping me find it again, is if you go far enough back, and by far enough back, I mean past the 1950s, um, a lot of American furniture is made out of chestnut. A lot of it. And by a lot, I mean, if you were on the East Coast, it was almost like that was the preferred wood. Chestnut was everywhere. It's an iconic woodworking wood that we no longer have the ability to even use unless you tear apart old furniture to salvage boards out of it because American chestnut is functionally extinct. Now I'm not saying, oh, donate to this so that I can get a board of chest, you know, so that I can grow chestnut trees and get a board of chestnut. There, there's a heavy chance I'll never be able to work with a virgin board of chestnut in my entire life. But I'd like, I'd like to at least have people, have the ability to give someone the chance in the future. Um, 
just it, it, and the fact that we are actually bringing it back from the brink of extinction is a very interesting concept um, because there are other trees that the American Chestnut Foundation has actually helped with their research on this. There's the, uh, the chinkapin in the Midwest. Um, I can't really think of any others at the moment. Uh, oh yeah, one second. The, uh, the ash, ash trees with the emerald ash borer, right now they're trying out some similar kind of tactics of trying to get resistance built into the trees so that they don't go extinct from invasive spe uh, from invasive species of insects for the emerald for for the ash trees um, things like that they're all kind of tied together at the moment jesus you know this was just a piece this was just one of the pieces that went through the flood. This is one that went through the flood, and it's going to be a pretty... Oh, my God. Like, what the hell? I'm going to go look at this again. Like, the stuff that I, I picked out, at, like, years ago and went through the flood, and I'm just like, ah. Uh, I'll use those as backboards because I, I don't know if they're curly, if they're straight grained or anything, but geez, you could use this you could use this on the front. There, there's definitely a little bit of chatoyancy on this one. All right, I missed some of the conversation. And a bit distorted. Okay, loud and distorted. That's up, oh, yeah, that's the problem right there. All right, how are we, how are we doing now? Loud and distorted. Okay. Better. Okay. Yeah. The. Uh, Cat said, "Yeah." So they typically grow east of the Mississippi River, which tells you I live west of the Mississippi River. Now, if I wanted to, I I actually am a a member of the American Chestnut Foundation now. Um, and if I wanted to, I could get some virgin chestnuts to plant here. But that's, it's not that I'm calling it a waste. It's more of a, I don't want to introduce a invasive infectious things because the chinkapin's kind of going through the same thing. All right. One second, y'all. Yeah. I'll check it out. What, what, what we got? Get and sent to me. <laughs> they can be mass nuts. All right, Yank. All right, Yank. Where, where are you at? No, seriously, where are you at? If, if you want some heritage, if you want some heritage chestnuts, I can actually get them. Yeah, for real. All right, I'll, I'll double check to make sure if they're able to live in the Boston area, but I mean, technically it's east of the Mississippi, so there's not really a concern for getting the uh, chestnut blight even further into the United States at that point. We'll, we'll talk about it. Thinking so, but can't be sure what time they are. All right. Seems good. Because uh, also the American Chestnut uh, Foundation does offer they said they do offer. This is going to be a fast board. They do offer. Man, my brain can't work words today. 
They do offer to the members the ability to buy a small portion of heritage seeds and heritage uh, seedlings. Um, for the purpose of reforestation, like as opposed to just growing them and planting them themselves, they will grow them, plant them themselves, and they have a small portion that they set aside to sell to help raise funds as well um, to continue their research efforts. But also it gets the trees further out there and gets more trees out there. Um, that was insanely fast. <laughs> All right, well, now we know face. Right back on it, real quick. Cool. That sounds pretty good. And Yankee underscore X said, nice hee hee. Oh, hee hees are one of my signature moves. <laughs> um, but also, just one of those, like, I can get the seeds here. I can get what is basically a blanched seed um, where, they, where they bleach the seed so that there's no fungus on it so I could pl plant it. But I can also just tell them to send it to X address kind of deal. Where did, oh, there you are. Man, if you were a snake, I wouldn't be looking for you. Um. But some things that they've been doing, are, you know, like I agree with wholeheartedly how they're doing some of this stuff. The genetically modified seed um, is not currently EPA approved, but is going through that process. So here, hopefully in the next few years, the genetically modified seed will also be available. Um, that's concerning. Uh, earlier this year, they had a fundraiser. I feel bad about it, but they had a fundraiser um, to raise funds for a new uh, year-round greenhouse so that they can propagate seeds year-round and not have to worry about winter uh, slowing them down because you know nothing's going to grow in the winter. Plus, it allows them to be able to, with a year-round greenhouse, it allows them to isolate if if it's not, a, if it is a heritage seed, they can isolate it from the exterior so that it has a much lower chance of being infected with, uh, with the chestnut blight because they can control the environment around it. I have not caught back up to see how much of the funding they got, but I believe they are well on the way to uh, actually getting that new year-round greenhouse, which would be a pretty good boon for them. And I know the uh, I know the <laughs> my my. Uh, my goal is probably a little high at $500, considering I have like the same 10 people watching me each time I stream. But I figure you never know what'll happen. And I mean, the Craftsman's Guild, you never know, they may pop in. Some, some people who aren't regulars actually in my stream, but are regulars, followers of Craftsman's Guild. So it, it's good to reach for the stars. You're going to have a fun time there, uh, Kat. Have they told you how avocados and apples work? Sorry, I'm, you can probably hear me smiling at, as I say that. Or 
does the term. Does it even work for me? Um, it, it, I mean, you can grow the plants. You can grow the plants. You can grow the plants, but the problem is whether or not you will get a good fruit. Um, I don't know the exact terminology for it, but basically the same thing happens with apples. Um, the term crab apple. I don't care about fruit. Okay. Yeah, if you're, if you're trying to get avocados off of it, that's where you're going to have problems. Because they're, they're like apples where it, um, most apple trees, if you just plant the seeds, you will not get an apple that looks like the apple you plant the seed from. And that's the same thing with avocados. The avocados are probably going to look weird. They're probably still going to be edible, but they're going to just look weird because I, I honestly don't know the term for it. To tell you the truth, it's just a weird. This is actually kind of funny that I'm making this my reference edge, and there's this huge chip out of it. But most likely, the what is this? A four-foot board? Do I have a tape measure in here anymore? <laughs> oh, it's right here. Um, Oh yeah, this is way longer than it needs to be. Most likely all of that's going to get cut off anyways. Um, but yeah, no, yeah, it's kind of like that. You, you have to graft to be able to get a good fruit. It's something stupid like that. I don't know the terms for it anymore. But yeah, that, that's basically the way around it. You're, you're going to have to graft if you want good fruit. But speaking of fruit, my, uh, my key lime tree started trying to fruit this year. And it should be big enough next year to actually hold the fruit. Like it, it had like two or three tiny, tiny little limettes. Um, this year, but I, it, it wasn't big enough to sustain them, so I just pinched them off. Um, but next year, next spring, it should be big enough to hold them. Um, it, it's much bigger than it was at the time it was trying to... I honestly don't know either because, I mean, they're a South American plant. That's all right, Mecca, don't worry, man. Like I said, don't you get fired at work because of me. Uh, greenhouse. Get a house that's painted green. Put your put your plant in it. It's supposed to be magical. Maybe I have something to bump that. Laughing face. Either I'm getting very good at this or Yankee underscore X said. Green or fail. <laughs> or I'm just getting really good at picking wood so I don't have to fix things. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yankee underscore X said his character. Here in a few streams, we'll be using this big boy because I'm going to have to rip the uh, side panels to wit. I think I already used it once, but. We'll be getting it down to its actual width later. Ah, la, 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 Where is, there you are. All right. 
you get to live on here. We're actually almost to the point of doing uh, shelves and tops and everything else, guys. And like I said, I'll go ahead and tell you guys I'm not going to lie to you. That... I mean, I know that's what you're here for. I guess. I know that's what you're here for. Which made me wonder, it was like, what happened? That cat just stopped coming. Yep. That's what, that's what the charity's for. We're making raw materials. Keep sticking it out, I'll bite it off. Oh God. What? FRSLY. <laughs> I was wondering when the, when you were going to react to that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we got a little bit of twist well, in this one. Take the delay into I know, I know. <laughs> what? Were you not expecting me to be a smart ass? Yankee under four X then. L U L. Cat said, I didn't expect you to expect me to bite your butt. Yeah. Wouldn't be the worst thing that's bit my butt. I can understand that. Okay, so mostly just here. Good old twisted boards. I was wondering where the twisted ones were. I was like, I, they went through a flood. Why are they not twisted? That's all right. Glad to see you back, Rila. Cat said, Cat, where is the rest of my man's butt? <laughs> Here. A little light there. Rulo78 have a great night and thanks for hanging in spite of chat LUL. That's all right. We're all a level of insane. Okay, so I need to take at least another swipe or so down that side.
I think it's more I'm just getting used to how to pick boards. But yeah, also, I mean, there is definitely a, I've gotten better at this, but I think I've gotten to the point where I'm like, I'm just going to be picky. So I don't have to do quite as much flattening. Yeah, a little bit more. And if we're safe here, which we are, okay. So a little bit here and a little bit out there. I think I learned my lesson way back when I was learning how to flatten boards and take twist out. I think I learned my lesson. I mean, like, I kind of, I like the gray one in the back. I don't know why. Don't ask. It's right there, isn't it? Yep. rapidly drop off right about there and we're flat okay just need to take out like oh i can feel it <laughs> right there Okay, we're gonna, it's not good, but I think part of it is just, I need to knock down the hills and valleys for a second. That should have taken some of the weird warbles out of the front. Let's see where we're at. Ah. Drink break. All right. All right. Half wonder. Okay, yeah, it doesn't show uh, an actual view of what it's supposed to look. Okay, yeah, that helped figure out what was going on real fast. Okay. Okay. And then right about here it should level out, so we just need to focus right here.
Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if that knocked out most of it there. Of what's left, I should say. Of what's left. Oh yeah, that's that's fantastic. Oh yeah, all right. Now we just need to smooth her down. Or not smooth. We need to join her down, plane her down, flatten her, make her into a lovely, lovely thing. further let's double check you are the finicky one you're doing good okay and I think I've settled on a design idea for for the new body by Bailey emote and now I got to think of another one, thanks to, was, was it Yankee? Yankee, I think you're the one that brought it up in uh, Hansa's stream earlier. The uh, don't skip treadle day. <laughs> oh, it stopped following me. There we go. which kind of follows the whole body by Bailey motif of stupid, corny jokes. Before we go too far. Luber up. Well, that tells you one thing. Definitely, definitely too heavy of a cut. And all I did was screw up all of my luck. We'll have to plane all of that out. Yay! Where did I put you, screwdriver? Yeah. Now you'll do. Don't know where the other one is, but that's what happens when <laughs> when you dig it a little too deep. And now I don't know where it went. Nope, that's a that's a Phillips. Good. Why? All right. Well, let's see if I can get this fixed. You know, started out strong, and I mucked it all up.
You gotta be kidding me. Okay, yep, nope, it's it's time again. Again, <laughs> it was set up perfectly. Set up perfectly, I say. And now we're gonna sharpen. Feel free to redeem a sharpen if you really want to, but my world in a nutshell. Was set up perfectly. <sighs> Why? Why you gotta be that way? Okay. It's going swimmingly well now. Now, isn't it? Isn't it? I mean, this did a world of wonders last week, or so I might as well. While, while I'm finicking with the blade, might as well just hone the baby up. What's a pirate without a hat? All right, you're gonna have to give me like two or three seconds. Suba says, hi, hi. <laughs> hey, Suba, how you doing? T-Y-T. All right. And just a reminder for those who are here a little bit later today than the beginning, we are starting my October uh, charity run. You have just so made some new rain. Welcome in. Uh, we are currently raising money for the American Chestnut Foundation. Uh, my personal goal is $500. Who knows if we'll actually get there. Um, And right now we're still working on that fabled cupboard. Okay. Although it looks like I'm sharpening. Which, in all reality, yes, I am sharpening. Yeah, I'll get that pirate head on just as soon as we're done playing around with the sharpening setup. Okay. one of these as well uh, I got Windex all over my table there we go now put the board back in 
if we can get this plane to agree with its given purpose in life again. I think part of it's because I'm not using the same screwdriver. Call me insane. Call me whatever you want. But yeah, the little... The little Stanley one that I usually have is completely gone now. It was here at the beginning. I used it for like three seconds at the very beginning. over here all right I don't even know if I used it at the beginning or if I used it right before I hit go but I did use it literally today like within within the parameters of before I after I had set up and before I started streaming I think that would be the parameters that I had used it in And it kind of irks me now. Now that I think about it, one second here. Go on the ground in the floofs. Here, under here. How would you disappear so thoroughly? I guess I'll find you in about a year's time when I'm sweeping up something. Well, that means put the other stubby here and hope to God you find the old, the old one as well. All right, we're back, back in the saddle again, guys. I do plan on streaming Sunday, even if I'm a little bit tired. Um, we're planning on going to Ren Fair Saturday. So I might be a little tired from walking around all day and drinking in the hot sun. Although this weekend we had a, we're having a cold front go through and it should be Decent, you know, normal weather for October as opposed to scalding. The fact that I still have my lime tree outside is kind of a sign of how, how hot it is here. You need to go there. Oh, what's that up? <laughs> Marcus, how you doing? Slowly getting through our project as always. 
Yeah, just Good a little. What happens when I get zealous? I hope it's cooler here than it is here. It's slowly dropping temperature here. You go wherever I go. I'm bestie. L U L. Man, my number six is like a bad penny. I keep turning up. <laughs> there we go. Let's back you all the way back That's out it. and get you reset. Oh my gosh, I hope that was a Rory Gallagher reference. Because if so, I love you. A little too thin, but we'll do a full sweep. You really have like fine and then biting into high hell, don't you? Do I need to do what I did last time and just... It's all right, it's all right. Not the flathead. Where's the flathead? Marcus says, have you seen the Kittyman Sea Shanty by the Trailer Park Boys? Yankee underscore X says, I laugh because I know. <sighs> Are we down two stubbed screwdrivers now? Ah, oh, there we go. Suba says, hi Yang. This thing really has like a. <laughs> Cat says, I laugh because I love. This thing really has a either wispy thin or gouging and dirt digging into the board. There's, there's no difference. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Keep taunting me like this and I will replace you. Number six. Okay. Back. In number six, you better watch out. Okay, I think I got it right where I actually want it. Thank you. It only took, what, set up four times? It's got such a hair setting that it, it actually depends more on how I... Each time I, I've been planing these boards, I'm like, ah, I must be getting better. I must be getting better. And I thought you were going to sing for us. Wait. Did you just talk to me? Sad face. <laughs> ah. What's Marcus doing in the chat here? Yankee underscore X says, <laughs> LOL Yank. Ah. Okay, this one has a little bit of chatoyancy in it too. How did I pick these boards? These.
<clears throat> what? <clears throat> okay. Just got lemonade in my throat. <clears> throat> um, I'm going to turn off sound for a second. Do it the easy way. Okay, we'll we'll go ahead and listen to it. I'm, I at the most it'll get it'll get vodded out. Awesome. That was awesome, guys. I'm gonna hijack this and put okay, that. Now you solo it. No, I can barely do the. I can barely do that one. Uh, the original. All right, we're going to at least do this though. I'm gonna put that into the uh, memeing. All right, now we have a direct link to it, no matter what. Because who knows, maybe I'll take a portion of it and make it into a redeem. Oh. Why is Kyra out of stock? Why is what? Mekhal said, what a freaking zoo tonight. And then the ads come on. Yeah. All right, there we go. Wait, is KYAR out of stock? What is, no, 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 that's not supposed to happen. One second here. There's not even supposed to be a limit on it. Do you, you've got the points, right? Cat said, oops, never mind my bad. I ran out of points. Something smells good. Metroporn thought it was wise to use 2,500 points on TV. Probably from all the hat stacking. Oh yeah, we did do a lot of hat stacking recently. Button in the long boat till he's over. 
Now, um, I'll go ahead and tell you, I don't here? know the Wellerman, Stop. and I definitely don't know the new version you guys just showed me off the top of my head. And I don't have my shanty books with me. So let's see, what, what do we... I can't! I... Uh, <laughs> one of these days I'm going to learn the songs you guys want. <laughs> Once, give me a second here. Ah, uh, there is actually a decent amount of chatoyancy in all this one. Let me sit here and think. What kind of song can I work to? And ah, uh, Ob's bot, you, you, you need to stop quitting on the job. Ah. Uh, Or mutiny. Well, I hope there isn't a dead squirrel in the lawn when uh, when I get outside. I just saw Max bolt it to. I got, mutiny. I may know mutiny. Um. <laughs> But you guys are going to have to forgive me on this one. Let's see. Ah, uh, this is the part where everyone hates me. Why do I still? You are going to be sentenced to stoppage of grog. Can I do all for me grog? What now, and how brown cow? Alter my beer and tobacco. I'm gonna take the sense Mecca redeemed. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Okay. I'm hoping Max didn't just kill a squirrel out there. I don't want to have to clean up <laughs> clean up a dead body. But. <laughs> All right. And it's all for me grog, me noggin noggin grog. It's all for me beer and tobacco. I spent all meeting with the ladies drinking gin. I swear. The... <laughs> Let's turn this down. Um, just so I don't get distracted. Okay, start over. Yeah, I'm gonna. Did I just turn it up? Jesus, I'm an idiot tonight. Uh, <laughs> All right. All right. And it's all for me grog, me noggin noggin grog. It's all for me beer and tobacco. Or I spent all meeting with the ladies drinking gin, and it's off to better way. Oh, it's off to better. Yeah, my brain is gone, guys. How do I not know this song? Why? Why the stage fright? Okay, <laughs> and it's all for me grog, me noggin noggin grog, it's all for me beer and tobacco, where I spent all meeting with the ladies drinking gin, and it's across the western ocean I must wander, where is me shirt, me noggin noggin shirt, it's all gone for beer and tobacco, the collar's bent about, and the chest is worn all out, and the arse is looking out for better weather. Where are me boots? Me noggin' noggin' boots. 
Oh, gone for beer and tobacco. The soles are worn thin and the heels are caving in and the uppers are looking out for better weather. Oh, Jesus, I can't remember things. We're gonna skip here and I've seen centipedes. Well, it's I've seen centipedes and snakes, and me head is full of apes. And I think I'll take a bath from way up beyond. And it's all for me grog, me noggin noggin grog. It's all for me beer and tobacco. Oh, Jesus. I really need to, like, like, this is... These are songs that as soon as they're on and playing, I know every word to them, but I cannot recall words just out of the blue of my head. I've been working on it. I swear I have. Okay, one second. I'm going to come and see what those words exactly were. Because we're almost done with this front. Let's do it again, something, something. A shanty star. <laughs> Actually, one second, I want to. Yep, okay. I don't know if this is relaxed at all or not. Back off then. If it were easy to sing shanties, everyone would be doing it. Okay, now you're just poking fun, Mecca. <laughs> um, that's just more of like, I tend to get stuff out of order and mixed up. Um, but I have been listening to shanties and stuff at least once or twice a week to get reinvigorated with them because... to get reinvigorated with them because I don't ever do the print up song sheets as reminders. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, just to get it back in my head because I don't do reenactments anymore. Oh, I know. I, what I need to do is put the books back on my... Wait, was Mecca here when I did that? Either way, it's a clip now, and I put it like as featured. <laughs> Old man shakes fist at Twitch. <laughs> Non-consensual col collab. <laughs> I mean, Bad Dad used to just take clips of everyone and make a clip show out of it every Sunday back when Bad Dad existed. Okay, finally got through that hellacious portion. And I lost the pencil. Don't worry, I'm losing everything tonight, including sanity.
Einer strengt sie in Hunde und Schnitt. Take her the end of. Like, that you're going to get Wellerman out of me is me mumbling the portions that are actually stuck in there. Like, right then. Sing you a song, a good song of the sea. Tell me away, hey, blow the man down. I trust that you'll join in the chorus with me. Give me some time to blow the men down. Although I could just try and sing the thing I did last time. Because like what, in two weeks time I'm going to actually try and sing it in front of people. How bad, ooh I can see the sawmill marks on this one. So it's all kinds of weird on this edge. Okay. Or I do. No, 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 no. We'll just use this guy. Uh, whatever was going on with with uh, with the droid cam seems to not be happening anymore. It seems to be staying on the entire time instead of just randomly deciding not to connect anymore. And, And it may have just been like, I mean, I did also update my my OBS uh, and streamer bot recently, so it may have just been it was behind on an update. And it, ceiling cam. Ceiling cam. We're gonna do this so that it recognizes that I exist. Nope, nope. Apparently, the hat is not enough. Come. Look upon me, camera, and know me. Well, tears were not enough either. But yeah, there was the distinct sound of a squirrel. Like it's chirp. Is it me? And then Max just like torpedoed toward the backyard or toward the back end of the yard where the noise was coming from. I could see him running full speed in front of that window. I was like, oh, okay. Okay. We do not know. It's not making noise anymore, but it probably would have ran through the fence since it's since it's all chain link fence, I don't, I, I expect it. Check, <sighs> 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 One second. I'll have to put you guys on burb to the B-Rep backs, but I'll do that just to be a nice guy. As soon as my keyboard wakes up and okay, I can click on that. So we'll all be right burb.
Okay, so there's no blood on Max. There's no blood in the backyard. There's, there's nothing. So all I can think is a squirrel fell out of a tree, made some ruckus, and then got through the chain link before Max could get to it. Thank you, pal. Love. Oh, you know I would have done it. I was going to check after the stream because it, it wouldn't have mattered at this point. Like, Max doesn't leave things alive. But, I mean, from what I can tell, it is, there's, he didn't get it because it, it would have, he would have brought it back to the patio, but I did walk the backyard. There's no sign of one. They bellied that right there. Or just backboards. So technically, I, I mean, like, I don't. <laughs> I just need to be able to tongue and groove them, but. point of checking how sh orthogonal it is. This was bellied all hell. It's still must have had some flex in the blade there. And this is not something I hand ripped. That that's sawmill marks. This is just something I cut down to the four foot size. This is something I paid maybe two fifty a board foot for. Okay, now that we're at this point, now let's check. After we get a drink. I do like being able to be in the shop and not have to have the fan going. Okay, so pal, for the next stream we learn a kitty and shanty. I'll learn a shanty. A shanty. I'll make sure to learn a shanty. If you want to blame someone, blame Marcus, not me. <laughs> Once again, I will bite it off. Let me get this down.
copyright question. All right, pen seal. Let's check what time it is. 7.24, Let's do a little rearranging here. So we have a ton of boards. We can still get to this. Like this is the top. And then I have a ton of little things that are called shelves. But I'm not sure I have the energy to do the top and shelves at the moment. Is my problem. finally stack them on top of everything here. So we're going to get everything stacked up nicely at this point and call it a win. I'll tell you the truth because I am I am tired. Jen said, "Hello all." Hey. 
a chance. Glad to have you back. Sorry for. <laughs> I feel bad now because Chance showed up and I'm thinking about streaming out. Yeah. Tell you the truth because I'm, I am beat tired. But I mean that's what planing does is it wears you the f out. I can at least start reorganizing things in a form that makes sense. Because all of this is in IO. Oh. Uh, oh my god, some of this is just. Oh, okay, okay, I know what you are now. I've probably introduced a huge amount of twist into you because I didn't get you properly stacked. That's a piece of mahogany. Chan said, hey guys, Mitchell. Get this chunk of burning trash down. Chew on. And you. Get you to lay out so you could possibly straighten out a little. There we go. Oh, you're not that bad. Good. All right. Early in the morning, trolling along boat till he's sober. Trolling along boat till he's sober. Trolling along boat till he's sober early in the morning. Hey, hey, and off she rises. Oh, this is, yeah, this is the Honduran rosewood. Okay. Patent looks a different size. Way high up she rises early in the morning. There's nothing holding that up, then this is why. There. Way high and up she rises. Chance says, no, now do farewell to Nova Scotia. <laughs> farewell to Nova Scotia, your seabound coast. And, and dark and dreary. I be. Like you said, I've got. Sure. They're there, but they're not all there. Um, like, I, I really, I think, yeah, I need to just like. Each week, practice a song so that I have a song ready for you guys. Cat said, okay, Marcus, if you don't stop, I'm going to cast you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think that'll be a new thing for me. I'm going to start practicing, like, one song all week so that I have one, one in the chamber for you guys. And then I'll practice another one and another one, and then eventually they'll all be in the chamber, and I'll be able to random off. All right, so... I'm going to mute you guys real quick because I think it is, it is quitting time for me here. So let's, even though it's in half an hour early, I'm beat tired. And I, I think it's, it's time for me to see if we can find someone to, to raid into. Barrett's Privateers is a must do. That, yeah, very true. I, I know, Kat, but also it's way past your bedtime. It's way past your bedtime. Um, but it's one of those, uh, I'm hoping to do Sunday. Like I said, I might be a little tired, but I could still probably do it with no problem. Um, let's see. Oh, we got a lot of people streaming all tonight.
Let's see. What's Lumbering Ox doing? Uh, he's turning what looks like a uh, platter. The albatross is stuff. Arcaros looks like drawing Celtic knots at the moment. We could always do Japanese printmaking, but well, let's see. Let's see. Is he actually carving a, a, a block today? No. Also, feel free to suggest. <laughs> You're not my supervisor. That's, that's basically what I'm hearing from you at the moment. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, now what's actually in Makers and Crafters, just in case? Crocheting. All right, what are we up for today? Because we've got... Let's see, Arteros. Ah, oh, yeah. Heck, let's just do Arteros. See, Cat said, thanks for the stream. All right, guys, have a good one. It's okay, he's a cat. <laughs> say, he can't keep secrets. Yeah. Uh, say hello to Arcaros for me. Thanks, everybody, for being here. And uh, hopefully to see you guys Sunday. Uh, and hope Love I can get all. these shelves, uh, said, shelves planed hey up guys. so we can actually get going somewhere on this project. Have a good week, guys. Big fat ugly bug face baby eating O'Brien? Hi. <laughs>